What's going on, guys? Um, I thought I'd put my old 920 camera up instead of using the laptop's camera. And I want to talk to you about something that is, well, a lot of you guys keep asking me about the games that I play um, when I'm not streaming and stuff. So, And I've, I've talked about this game. This is Marvel uh, Future Fight. It is one of the games that I absolutely love playing. Um, I've been playing it now for about almost a year, if not just a little bit over a year, and I've got a lot of characters um, unlocked, and I've still got a metric ton of characters to rank up and unlock and level up and stuff. The majority of these characters, sadly, are, are behind paywalls, and so I doubt I'll be getting those. Uh, Phoenix, Cable, uh, Scarlet Witch, Apocalypse, I will be getting uh, Strife, I... yeah... Strife I will be getting, but the, major the rest of these characters here are all behind paywalls, so I, I doubt I'll be getting those. Um, I am a 100% guppy, I am a free-to-play player, I have not spent much on this game. If anything, I was given a um, Google Play card uh, for a birthday present, and so I spent it on this, and all I bought was um, some crystals for, for, for costumes, for uniforms. I never actually bought a character or did... Anything like that. So, I want to do... I want to take a page out of another YouTuber's book by the name of Thunderwhack. Um, good guy. He does a How to Mod series on Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Another Android game that I like playing. I've even live-streamed it a couple of times on Twitch. Um, and so, what I want to do is... I want to do something similar along those lines. I want to do like a, uh, a How to Mod uh, series but with Marvel Future Fight characters. And so, we're going to start today. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, and I, I'm not going to start with the typical characters like Captain America, War Machine, Doctor Strange, stuff like that. Here, in fact, let me move my camera like out the way so you can see. Okay, I'm not going to start with, you know, Captain America or a War Machine or Doctor Strange or, or whatever. I'm actually going to start with... Ta-da! Hawkeye Kate Bishop. Why? Because if you play the game um, for any amount of time, you're going to immediately start to get Kate Bishop shards damn near immediately as long as you do Village Siege. Now, Village Siege is a game mode if you go to here, go to Challenge, Village Siege. The moment you do Village Siege on either Normal or Hard, you're going to start to get Kate Bishop shards. Now, I like Kate Bishop simply because she is a natural crit and dodge monster. It is very, very hard to get hits on this this lovely woman, and you're going to see why. Now I'm going to turn off the exceeded, exceeded, exceeded stats. So you're literally just going to see her as is. Now you've got to take into effect my, my cards. Okay, so you're looking at my cards, which does reduce her cooldown duration and debuff and stuff like that, and her, her ISO eight set and her gear. Um, because all of her, I mean, literally, she's, she's tier two. I quite literally tier twoed. Kate Bishop. I've been playing the game that much. And lately, I've just been drawn more and more towards Kate Bishop. Um, let's see, she's got Ignore Dodge of 96%, Ignore Defense of 8%, Critical Hit of 155 but her crit rate is only 18%, which kind of freaking sucks. I want to bump that up. I want to see if we can't bump that up to, say, 30%, like what's on Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man, he is a crit machine. If you can mod your Spider-Man correctly, he will just lay the smack down on people. Granted, his regular little jabs don't do jack crap, but the moment you start hitting them with some decent skills, her ISO set is I am also group. Uh, I believe it's only stage two uh, uh, in effect. Uh, I will be looking at bumping that up to maybe stage six or seven later on down the line. But basically, all attack 4.3, max hit point 4.3, Crit rate, 4.3. Crowd control time, 4.4%. Recovery rate, 4%. Activation rate, 15% when hit. And she will recover 20% of her hit points. 
So even if you do hit her, I have a 20% chance to regain health. Okay? She's just an all-around awesome character. And yes, I will be looking at changing that in a, like instantly. Her custom gear is just flat out ignore dodge of like 50 something percent. Uh, activation rate when hit to self crits and energy shield equal to 7% of her hit points and has a 10 second cooldown. Uh, it lasts for 10 seconds, sorry, and it has a 15 second cooldown. So if you do hit her, I have a 20% chance to heal. I also have a 20% chance to create a force field that's going to absorb some of the damage. So she, she's not exactly a glass cannon. Now, all of her skills are only at level 1. Um, again, most people advise that you get your, your skills to at least level 3. Um, now, let's look, take a look at her gear. Everything's all 20 plus. She doesn't get to level 70 like Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, um, Thor, etc. Because she's literally just a character that's on the back burner. She basically has a little bit of background to her. She has Hawkeye's bow, uh, Scarlet Witch's braces... Um, basically, she is a comic book character that quite literally found a lot of the Avengers dead, nicked their gear, and took on the persona of Hawkeye, pretty much. Um, you'll find that out if you, in, in the character's bio. Now, her current Uru equipped is skill cooldown, physical attack, and hit points. That's literally all she's got. She's got no crit rate whatsoever. Okay? So we're going to look at putting some, some crit rate in there. Critical rate. Now, I've got four of these, so I might as well equip them. Um, equip. And then, yes, I know I have, I'm not cynical, Alex. I haven't, you know. I'm not, uh, you know, a, a, an epic whale kind of thing. But I just figured I'd let you guys kind of figure out how the game is done pretty much how it's played um and so that's my crit rate now we added four of those so we can take a look at the details now uh let's see crit rate is now up to 22 plus 17 so she's up to 39 percent two plus one is three seven plus two is nine yes yeah, so she's up to 39 percent crit rate so we could bump that even more so let's do that let's go to a quick uru and i'm looking for these ones now she's got and i've got those yeah we'll enhance those now you can um, basically take two of the same Uru and bump it up to the next class. It does cost, you know, items like your ISR, um, your Stones of Brilliance, things of that nature. Um, and honestly, I advise that you do that. I advise that you level up your, your stuff. Uh, we're going to enhance this even more and it will turn it into level three. Of course, as you go up in levels, it goes up in cost, and it also goes up in levels of failure. Um, now, bear in mind, I am using Nox. There we go, so we've got another five. And basically, what I want to do is see if I can turn her into a crit monster. So, let's take a look at the details now. Crit rate of 24.3 plus 19. So, that's 3. That's 40. That's 40 something percent crit rate. So, with, we're almost there. Plus, again, yes, you can also enhance the... You can do an Uru amplification. You know, you can also, you know, do an actual enhance there. And it took. Nice. Do you see? But then you can go to uh, Amplify. Alright, so 
we we got a couple of amplifiers there. Gonna amplify these. And basically this is just gives them a little soft stat buff if if it does go through. Only one went through, sadly. Sometimes it's it's all RNG, you know, at this point. Which kinda sucks. Now I've got the sounds turned off because the music is copyrighted and I don't want to get this video flagged. So I might add a little bit of music in the back. Okay, the skill cooldowns. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Only one took that time. There we go. Much better. I don't want to amplify it there. So I'm going to hit it once. Holy cow, this does not like to be amplified, does it? Alright, so. Let's take a look. Okay, quick 29 plus 24, so that's 40. So we're over 50% crit right now. Okay. She is a speed type, so she's technically a bit of a glass cannon. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, go to team bonus, teams per character. Young Avengers, Clint's Will, Young Avengers 2, Young Avengers 3, Hawkeyes, hmm, guess we can set that team, there we go, Clint's Will, so that gets her crit rate up even more, and what we're going to do is I'm going to literally just watch her play this out and uh, yeah I'm gonna hide the camera now and we can just watch okay so we've got And of course this does a rock paper scissors style ability. Speed is weak against um, combat, but it is stronger against blast and blast is stronger against combat, if that makes sense. So the, the, the grayer numbers that you're seeing is what's known as reduced damage, but still look at the crit damage. That is up there, and of course one of no, it's pretty awesome not too shabby not too shabby I mean it would be quicker if I used um, um, Winter Soldier but then Winter Soldier is just a, a huge crit monster that's weird it didn't target the uh, that's because it's autoplay plus I want autoplay plus plus go down to settings autoplay plus plus thank you continue okay autoplay plus plus means that she'll target destructible objects and find hidden roots see And so, yeah, she's she's actually a bit of a crit monster. Okay, she got stunned there by... Uh, ah, so yeah. Ah, she, she, took, she got took out, sadly, by... Uh, there's good old Cap. Cap's got this. Uh, literally, Cap can beat, beat her in, in his sleep. The way I've got my Captain America set up, he's mostly just sustained DPS, pretty much. But, uh, hmm, I, th I think we're onto something with our, with our Hawkeye build. 
I think we're onto something with our Hawkeye build. Hmm. I mean, yeah, she's got a fraction of the hit points as my Captain America. And my Jessica Jones didn't stand a chance because she wasn't tier 2. But, uh, yeah, that's... Hmm. That's interesting, though. That is very interesting. Um, do I see her in PvP? No, I do not see her in PvP. I I genuinely do not see her in PvP. I, I don't see Hawkeye in PvP. I don't ever see her in PvP. Um, but it's a good little PvE crit build, um, as long as you're taking on uh, characters that are elementally dis dis disposed to you, uh, i.e., let's go to our missions real quick, let's find one, that is, it's combat, 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 what is with all the com there we go, this one should be freaking easy for her, because she's tier 2, And so, yeah, see, she's just. <laughs> that would be my girlfriend saying hi to you, too. <laughs> and I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving it in. I'm not even going to edit it out. I'm not even going to edit it out. Yeah, look at her go. See, you can see a, a, a good portion of damage is crit out of her set. A good portion it is crit. Let's see, pop, 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 pop. So there were some good little crits there. So as long as she's fighting the oppose, opposing uh, element, she can actually do a little bit of damage. Um, you know, she can she can seriously do some 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 damage. And so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this how to mod series. I've modded my Hawkeye, my Kate Bishop Hawkeye on crit. Plain and simple. Um, the next How to Mod series I'm going to be doing is probably on my uh, Spider-Man or maybe my Punisher. Uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment down below. And until uh, then, guys, take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.